you remember something every day is memories. And if you don't have memories, you don't have anything. Because life is but a memory. We met at the Athens County Fair. I believe it was 1940. I had seen her pass on a street where we were working, and I, I knew nothing about her. But I liked what I saw in a nice way. We was married in a little church around the corner on Fifth Avenue in New York City, and we were happily married for 63 years. When I bought the farm in 69, while we remodeled it piece by piece, room by room, and then we lived here the rest of our time in married life until she passed away. But death is so final. It's like turning off a light switch. Your mind is going a mile a minute, hoping. But that's where reality sets in again, and it, she's gone. Well, she was a very petite, loving little woman. Very forgiving, more so than I. She loved cuddling. She loved to be held. And that's to be loved. But it's difficult for me to sleep. I don't know why. I wear out completely, but I sleep downstairs because I can't bear to go to bed by myself. I'm sorry. <laughs> Everything I look at, Mary's a part of. The kitchen, the, the clown, the clock, the pictures, our baby pictures there. You try to live your life like you used to, and the used to isn't there. It's gone. I don't want to live in the past, but there's not much in the future. Love you, Cookie. <laughs> it's supposed to get easier, but it better damn well hurry up and get easier, because I can't take much more. <laughs> I went to the door after Mary Lou passed away and I couldn't go in by myself. I had friends at the Plains Methodist Church, so I went out there. And there's one thing that you and I need to know is in those moments of darkness where we feel like everybody's abandoned us and the days are so grim and don't look so good. I don't want to get married again. I buried my wife's ring and her earrings and some of her personal things with her. I don't intend to ever have any, anyone else, any woman in my life. There's a harvest time for everything in the, in the world. When an orange gets ripe, you either eat it or it rots. When a tree gets so big it should be cut and used because it's going to decay or rot back into the soil. And a human life is the same way. You have to learn to manage and take care of everything you have or you don't have anything. It's like the devil is sitting on your shoulder. Flip him off and keep going and say, get out of my way because I'm going to keep going. 